Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you the Scroll Scope jQuery plugin. This plugin was created by Jerry Yapinen and is available at the URL shown here. It's common for users to hover the mouse pointer over a scrollable element and use the mouse wheel or trackpad to scroll the element. In some browsers, when an element reaches its boundary, its parent continues to scroll. This usually causes the user to continue moving down the page when attempting to interact with a specific container. Scrollscope fixes this issue. To use Scrollscope, include it in your document and initialize it. And then add the data scroll scope attribute to any element. Using its default value, data scroll scope scopes the scrolling of an element when it overflows. Setting the value of data scroll scope to force will scope the scrolling of an element whether or not it overflows. Here are some more demos. Here we have nested containers. And then here's an impractical number of nested containers. Without using scroll scope, the parent container would scroll when we reach the boundary of the container being scrolled. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Jerry for the inspiration. Check out his site at the URL shown here for more information about scroll scope and Jerry's other web development projects.